So this is going to be number two here. And I'll back up. So we have vinyl siding. Looks like some of the siding came off. Don't even know where that is. Uh, hopefully uh, I can find a panel of white vinyl siding. That would be nice. Okay. Super cute on the front here. There's a wisteria growing on the backside here, and it's uh, rather invasive. It's actually growing on both sides of the float. I would say that that's a necessary project to get rid of that. So I'll go through the front door. And uh, immediately to our left, brilliant idea to put the refrigerator in the corner, but whatever. Uh, got the refrigerator. This is uh, futon. Lots of different floor coverings, you'll notice. Okay, got the stove. And there is a micro size uh, kitchen, but functional. That's just a uh, piece of foam. Okay, so I'll take you into the uh, water side or front side of the house, the storage area off to our right. That could be framed in and maybe some closet doors could be put in place. That would be nice. So here we've got some blue carpeting, some rough, panels um, and then you've got interesting enough uh, another wall paneling plus the faux brick and this roof uh, has not been properly insulated okay so definite heat loss that's just plywood sheeting and then you're going to have a should have a vapor barrier in your metal tin so it definitely should be properly insulated okay and that loft, I'm not going to bother getting up there because this ladder is uh, very questionable. Um, I'll step out and look back into this room so you get an idea of the size of the room. This is the swim float out here. And you get rid of this hot tub and there's all kinds of social spaces. Great opportunity for table, chairs, sofa, and so forth. Come out to the water side here. Keep in mind our water level is down. And then looking back into the room I just came through. we've got a little sofa a couple of tables and then opposite of that a chair so gives you an idea of the size of the room and then we'll go around the corner and there's a bedroom so I'm in the living room walking around Bathroom is in the hallway here, directly off the hallway. I, you know what? I would get a refrigerator and put it right here, but that's just me. Okay, so the bathroom's off to our left. It's one bathroom. And the shower is behind the door here. Narrow door into this bedroom. Be nice to see that. Maybe cut a little bit wider, but where the door removed and just framed. And then we have another slider in this room. And this appears to be a queen, so that'll give you an idea of the size of this room and the width. Okay, and there's a door directly to this area off to the side. So maybe you want a little privacy drinking your morning coffee or whatnot. Again, I would remove this wisteria. I think it's a, probably uh, growing into the 
log underneath it, if not several logs. So I would uh, work to get rid of that. Okay. All right, well, I think that uh, and we do have some windows that have been replaced and are white vinyl and then some have not. Um, definite project. And again, we don't know what condition the float is in. This is the last estimate from Harbor Services, but he did not have a copy of a float survey. And that shows $45,000. So we'd like to have a float survey and then we know as to what Jesse needs to bid. And that will conclude our little tour of number two down here at Dykeside Moorage. Maybe get a view of the other houses here in the Moorage. Super, super cute little moorage. One of my favorite in, in the Columbia County, Multnomah Channel. And actually, since we talked about the quality of the water, let me go ahead and pop out to the end of the moorage here so you can see the Multnomah Channel from Dykeside. That's going to be Scapoos Moorage off to my left or downriver. Kind of nice if you had a little river boat. Maybe you just wanted to pop in and get yourself a little snack or maybe use the restroom. This dock has cleats on it. So you could bring your boat up here and just pop into the house get your snack head back out salmon like to run right next to the savi island which is directly across from us beautiful day on the river <laughs>